mode. Hello and welcome everybody to this RunRex live webinar about automated desktop and web app testing. My name is Hubert and I am one of the engineers here at RunRex in Austria. Before I would like to start over with my presentation here, I would like to ask you, the audience, to give me some short feedback if you can see my slides on your screen and if you can hear my voice properly. So please use the questions and answer panel of GoToWebinar, which is usually located in the upper right corner of your screen, and give me some feedback. So I will wait until there is some feedback uh, in this uh, questions panel so that you can see my screen here and hear my voice and everything is okay. So please uh, give me some short feedback. So otherwise I will check my settings here if everything is right. I make here an, an, an sound check here that looks good uh, and there is already some feedback in the questions panel. Thank you for your uh, information here uh, attending this webinar and now I'd like to start over with a short agenda of the webinar today so what you can expect from this webinar here so at first I will start over with a general overview about RunX our tool here then I'd like to move on to the live cross technology test case um, this is a, a technology test case between a desktop application in the first part. So I'm using a desktop application here. This is a, a key store application. Then I will use a web browser testing, creating a test for a um, web page. And finally I will combine, combine both technologies into one test case. So that will be the live cross technology test case part, which is the main part. After that, I have prepared some concluding slides, which sum up the things I have done in the cross-technology uh, live demonstration. And finally, I will answer your remaining questions, uh, which came up during the webinar. So, um, if you have any questions, please use this questions panel of GoToWebinar. Type in your question, and I will try to answer this question immediately. So, if um, there are too much questions or these questions uh, do not uh, fit to the appropriate uh, slide or action I'm doing here. I will postpone this question and uh, answer it at the end of the webinar. For your information, this webinar is recorded too. So after the webinar, I will send you a follow-up email containing a link to this video so that you can have a review or a closer look on uh, the action I have performed here in the live demonstration. So I hope you feel fine with this agenda of the webinar today and let me start over uh, and switch to the next slide here, the general overview of RunRex. And this slide contains here uh, different application technologies which are shown in this picture here. So in the lower center here we support currently the application technologies on the desktop, on the mobile and on the web platform and all these technologies which are shown in this picture here can be added automated by one single tool, RunRex Studio, to create here tests um, against these your applications. And tests which are created with RunRex Studio can be integrated in the one hand into uh, test management systems such as Microsoft Test Manager, for example, or on the other hand into continuous integration systems using build servers such as, for example, Jenkins or Bamboo. So much for the general overview here. Um, let's take a closer look on the technology support of uh, RenRex. Um, as already mentioned in the previous slide, RenRex supports the desktop, the web and the mobile platform. Very important for this webinar today, the desktop and the web uh, platform. Uh, we support here uh, currently on the desktop the Windows platform um, up from Windows XP up to the latest version Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 
which is currently the latest version of Windows and all application technologies which are available on this platform can be automated by Ranorex. And also the web platform is supported here. Uh, four browsers are supported at the moment. These are Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox and Safari up to the latest versions here and all technologies uh, in this area of web technologies especially here this very common HTML5 or uh, other technologies which are available on this platform here. If you're interested in the mobile platform Android and iOS are currently supported uh, please subscribe to our mobile webinar which is scheduled on next Tuesday at 10, at 10 a.m. so on the same time like this webinar today. Alright, before I'd like to start over with the live demonstration I will have I will show you some um, overview slides about the test scenario of today so what I've prepared for you as already mentioned I will use the desktop and the web platform and this is the test coverage of today so I'm using the Windows platform here and I'm using a WinForms.net application uh, for the first part and the second part will be the web part I'm using here Internet Explorer and also uh, Firefox for that and Chrome is used as well. So let me show you the test scenario for the desktop part at first so I will use here uh, an key store application to store credentials uh, called KeyPass. Um, this is an .NET application which is available on Windows. Uh, so I will start and log in into this um, key store database here. Um, I will add an entry and add an entry to my application here and so and credentials entry and finally I will validate and delete this entry from uh, this KeyPass application. So that will be the desktop part and the web part will be um, starting in browser opening a web page I'm using here IMDB which is an internet movie database for uh, yeah, searching movies find out information about the director about the movie and the famous actors so I will search for a film validate some items on this web page and finally I will close the web application so that will be the second part and the third part the final part of this live demonstration will be a combination of these two technologies reusing the existing modules I've created before um, and combining them into one test case called the cross technology test case uh, so I will uh, log in um, via KeyPass into this IMDB database logging in here and searching for the movie so this is the combination of two different technologies into one test case so that's it. That's the test scenario. I hope you feel fine with this um, test scenario here and let me know start over with um, this live demonstration and therefore I have prepared here uh, Renrick Studio on my machine here um, and before I start over with recording some actions uh, in my KeyPass application I want to give here an, an short introduction into Renrix Studio so that you get an overview um, how uh, Renrix Studio is built up. So let me start with this um, main window here. This is called uh, Renrix Test Suite View. This contains all available test cases which are currently available in our test suite which contains all test cases here. So we have one test case available here with one recording. So you are able to rename this test case here. So the first uh, part will be the desktop part. So let me call it desktop part key pass. So that's the first test case here. So you can easily rename that. This is the test with you and you are able to reassemble any kind of test case in this uh, test with you here. On the upper left here you can see the RunRex project browser which contains all available files which are currently available in the uh, 
in our solution at the moment, so we have here all files available. And on the lower left you have the RANREX module browser, which contains all available modules. You can create here some uh, folders to structure your uh, modules into different folders that you have a, a better overview about your modules. Alright, so that's all about RANREX Studio for, for that point and let me start over opening this recording here and recording some actions um, in our Keepers application. Um, when I double click on this recording one, the RANREX action table view is shown which um, shows afterwards all actions which are recognized by RANREX recorder through the recording and at the moment there is no action available and if you are clicking here on this record button then RANREX displays a dialog which allows to select which option you want to record. So if you want to start a global recording select this element here. If we want to run an application we want to do that here. You can select this one here. You can also open in a browser that we will do later on and finally this is also a possibility for mobile recording. I will um, postpone or um, recommend to um, subscribe to our um, RANREX mobile web testing webinar which is scheduled on next Tuesday and uh, if you're interested in mobile recording please attend to this webinar. Okay, I want to run an application here, so I'm able to type in here this file name or use this browse button here. I'm using this browse button. I have here my solution, here my application called KeyPass. Here is the executable of this um, application. I select this application here and click OK. And I'm also able to um, attach here some arguments if they are needed. At the moment they are not needed and therefore I click here on start and then RANREX Studio uh, disappears and the KeyBass application is started. So um, on, let me give some short introduction in the RANREX recorder which is, which is shown in the um, lower right corner of um, my screen here now. This is a RANREX recorder which shows um, that we are in recording mode. The red flashing light indicates that we have here several possibilities. Validate, create a checkpoint for a specific action here. You can pause your recording here, stop the recording or enable some hotkeys or start image-based recording. So let me um, record here some actions. This red border indicates that RANREX is able to detect um, the element on your application or in your application. So RANREX has detected this input field here. The red border indicates that I click into this field. So now I'm typing in here uh, the password for that uh, database here by my keyboard here. Password is RX. Um, then you can see here the red border is drawn around this uh, OK button and I click OK and this KeyBase application is started and again here the red border shows that RANREX is able to detect all elements in this application here. So final action will be click here on this general item here and stop the recording at this point and let me show how easy it is to replay such an recorded test case so I, therefore I closed, closed the KeyBase application here and let me play this recorded actions here now. So it's very easy to record and test with RANREX and replay it. So, And RANREX performs in real user simulation and uh, performs here these actions. So now let's take a closer look on the recorded actions which are shown in this actions table here now. So the first action was to run the application um, started here this is the file name of the application. If there are any uh, arguments um, available, add them here and they also you can select here the working directory of this application here. Then the second action here is a mouse click 
on the password field here, you can see here a, ran a screenshot which was created during the recording. So you can enable and disable the screenshot here by clicking this button. Next action was typing in here the password. This is done by a key sequence here. This this key sequence on this element here. Let me come back to the next action here. Click on the button OK. So we want to log into our application. We click here, a left click, and here you're able to select different actions if you want to have a double click, mouse movement up and down, but click is the right action here. And finally, I've clicked here this general item. So now let me show that this is a real UI mapping. So uh, therefore, I came to the central point of maintenance here in Renrex called Renrex Repository. So each of these actions here performed is on a specific item which is shown in this column here called Repository Item. If you take a closer look, this is the general item here, general repository item, and the Renrex Repository is shown in the um, lower center of Renrex Studio here, and the Renrex Repository contains all uh, elements which were um, recognized during the recording here. So, and now let me show that this is a real UI mapping. So, here on the left side, we have here this column of the items here, general item, a logical name here, and this is a mapping to a Renrex path which identifies the object in the application. And therefore, I resize Renrex Studio here, and uh, let me select here this uh, general item and highlight this element in our application here. So I want to highlight uh, this element here that Renrex detects the element in the application here. Therefore, I click here on highlight element and Renrex shows you in red border around the element. So Renrex is detecting the element through this Renrex path here in the application. So let me redo that. So through this Renrex path, Renrex is able to identify the object in the application. And this is a real UI mapping as you have seen before. If you're interested how Renrex is able to detect these elements in the application, Renrex using a Renrex path and uh, how this Renrex path is built up, if you are interested in that, uh, please subscribe to our best practices using a Renrex Studio webinar which is scheduled on next um, Thursday at uh, 10 a.m. same time uh, and yeah there you get information how you modify this Renrex path to make your application robust against changes in the UI structure and other changes so please if you're interested in that um, please subscribe to that webinar here so here we have also a further field here is this password field and we have here this logical name and it's very recommended to um, to uh, give uh, use here logical name, very meaningful logical name. For example, this password field is only called text, and in the application, sometimes there are several text fields available. Therefore, please rename these logical names here, for example, to uh, password field. And now this logical name is changed also here in the actions table and then you can easily refine the element uh, in the application. So there is one question in the questions panel. If an element is moved uh, in the UI between recording and playing, will it still click on the element? So uh, it's a little bit difficult so I will move um, up your my application here uh, highlight the element, Renorex is detecting the element if I'm moving it here. Uh, so it always detects the element. It's not here an image based uh, recognition, it's a real um, UI mapping. So Renorex detects the object directly in the application. So if it moves upwards and downwards, um, 
it will find this element here so I hope I am so I can move that down here no that was oh, that was not the, the right step here I want to move it upwards here so so I hope that answers your question here so Ranrex finds this object also if the element is in an other field here. Okay, so if you want to add here additional actions or you have by mistake missed an action um, during your recording you can also add here manual actions um, into the, your recording. You can do that by uh, selecting an repository item in your Renrex repository and simply drag and drop it up to the um, actions table here. Uh, very comfortable at this point is to create a screenshot of the application before we are clicking here OK in the password um, password form. Therefore I select here this password form item, drag and drop it up to the actions table, release the click and select here this action. So I have and select the right action here report and then Renrex creates a uh, report in our um, report so a screenshot of the application in our report so let me replay that so that you can see uh, how it is easy it is to add an action into our uh, recording here there's a further question in the questions panel. Um, where can I watch the recording or this webinar or basic tutorials? So, um, as I've already mentioned in the beginning of this webinar, this re webinar is recorded and at the end of the webinar I will send a follow-up email containing the, video, uh, the link to this video of this webinar. So, I hope this answers your question. So let me come back to my uh, successful uh, replay here. So I have added here a manual action uh, for creating a screenshot of my uh, password form here and you can see Renrix has added this to my uh, logging information here. Okay, let me now resume the recording. So. Um, extend it, add some further actions here. Therefore, if actions are available in this actions table and I click here on record, Renorex resumes automatically the recording here and I'm able to add some further actions to my actions table and these actions will be add an entry um, to my Keybase application. Therefore, I click here on add it, add an entry. So, first it will be add a title here. For example, Gmail account, username is Tubertimento. So that's my Twitter account here, Twitter account name. So, or my nickname here in the company. So password here is PWD. Repeat the password field here. Double click PWD. Now I'm clicking here in this URL field, typing in the URL here, www.gmail.com. Click into this notes field. I have no notes at the moment. Click here. OK. Everything was typed in perfectly. And now I want to um, validate if um, I have successfully added here an um, entry to my database other tools call this step uh, create a checkpoint we call it validation therefore I click here on this validate button on my recorder here then the color change here to green so we are in validation mode and also the color of the border has changed here so I want to validate that this entry is called Gmail here I select the element click here and now Renrex displays a dialog with the structure of the application. Here you can see the different containers of the application which were um, defined by the developer of the application. So Renrex detects here the real objects 
uh, in this application, the real structure. And here you are able to double check that by highlighting element or if you by mistake selected a wrong element, you can change that to another element, for example this. But we want to validate that the title is Gmail here. That's right. So I have selected the appropriate cell here and now I have to select which attribute I want to validate. So I want to validate the attribute text that the text is equals Gmail here. Okay, that's selected here. I click here OK and the validation action was added to my actions table here. The next action will be to delete the item from my database. So move to the element. I right click on this arrow and delete the entry. I have deleted the entry. Finally I close the application by clicking sex here and stop my application. So my recording so far. So now let's take a closer look on the recorded actions after clicking here this uh, general item in my uh, initial recording here. So what has Renrex added to this actions table here? So the next action was here. Click here on this edit menu field here. Add an entry and also screenshot is shown. Here the title field was clicked, key sequence Gmail was added here, second click on the username, key sequence to Badimento. So let me scroll down here a little bit. Then I have performed a double click on my password field here to select the whole uh, string here. I typed in here password or PWD, a double click on the repeat field here then a key sequence PWD. Then I clicked here this URL field here and I typed in here www.gmail.com. But there are two, two sequences recognized by Renorex and you are able to merge that into one. So you can simply do that by selecting both items and merge selected keyboard items here. And then you have only one key sequence available so to clean up your uh, actions here. Then I clicked here on this notes field and I haven't entered any text into this note field uh, during the recording and now I want to add here some additional uh, yeah, entry or some text into this notes field. Therefore I select this note item in my repository here, simply drag and drop it up to the actions table here, release the click and I want to add here a key sequence. So click here key sequence and now I'm able to type in any text I want to type in here. For example, um, this is my Gmail account. Okay. Press enter and now you have added here and further action a key sequence with this text here. Then I click here this OK field. Very comfortable as already mentioned before, having screenshot after entering some credentials here. So I select here this root item here, password entry form, and add this report screenshot action of this password entry form before I click here OK. Let me scroll down. Then I have validated here this the, the attribute text of this item is here Gmail. So again it's very fine to have here and screenshot and I add here a report with the screenshot. Then I have performed the right click to open the context menu of the uh, element here. So uh, click right mouse left delete entry so delete it and finally I have closed my application here. And that was my recording here. So let's replay that recording here. So you're also able to um, uh, enhance or enhance the performance of the replay by selecting here the turbo mode. Then the replay is much faster. So let me show that to you. 
So Renex is creating the test case and performing the actions here and here. You see it's much faster than before. Okay, and everything works fine here. Screenshots of the password are the add entry form here and here of the validation. Fine. So before I would like to uh, move on uh, with splitting up this recording, uh, there's a further question um, in the questions panel, so let me read through that question here. How advanced is the text validation? Can you validate that a field contains Gmail or has a length of five or matches a certain pattern, a regular exp uh, expression? Yes, that's also possible. So as you have seen here in this validation actions, we have the possibility that the attribute is equal this text here. So the text field so, uh, should be here. Uh, containing Gmail, then you're also able to validate all these um, matching yeah, attributes here. So, is it selected, row index, and so on? You can validate this. Then you can also use here uh, further actions for validation. That there is the attribute. Um, using an, a regular expression here, attribute contains something, contains something not, and so on. So you can select here different actions uh, you want to perform and validation here. So that's possible, of course. I hope that answers this question here. Okay, if you look on this recording here now, we have 27 different actions um, in one single recording. If we um, think about reusing um, different actions um, of this recording here now, uh, that's not very comfortable if you want to create a new test case which only starts and stops the application, for example. Um, you have to re-record these actions and therefore we uh, really recommend to create small reusable modules modules which can be reused in other test cases and these actions or these steps I would like to show you now. So the, uh, to um, create here reusable modules um, I will select the appropriate items here for example a new reusable module can be for example start the uh, login to the application and bring it to an initial state so these six actions here for example can be reused in any other test case for example and I select these actions here and move it to a new recording module. Desktop here, start key pass for example and then Renrex automatically moves the element from recording one or removes the elements to a new recording module here. So and let me redo that for further actions. Re re reusable part will be create a new entry, the 16 actions here, so afterwards you can maybe or for example change here something adding these actions here so now we have only five actions left validate and delete an entry can be reused in any other test case And finally, we have only one action left here and I rename this recording module here in the module browser to close key pass. That's it. I have split it up this one single recording with 27 different actions into four reusable modules and let me show you how you can reassemble this test case here now. So if you open our test suite here, we have here now our 
test suite, our test case and only one uh, recording module, close key pass. And now I am able to reassemble any test case um, with this reusable modules here. For example, starting key pass, I select this module here and simply drag and drop this element into my test suite view here and reassemble a new test case as before. So I want to add an entry here and validate, sorry, it's the wrong one, validate and delete the entry. Simple by drag and drop, I have reassembled a real test case here and let me now replay this test case here and show you a real test case created of Granrex modules, reusable modules here. And as before, Granrex performs everything but now with reusable modules. Double click, type in password, the URL, the notes we have added manually, click OK, validate, and that's it. And now Ranrex also shows an Ranrex report which contains several information about the test case execution here. So the test case was executed uh, successfully, which is shown in a pie chart here. And you're also able to open this test case here. So, and then you can see the reusable modules here and the information of, of the modules. Also, the screenshots are shown as before here. Or validate and delete the entry. And the validation is shown here also in green color. All right, that was the first part of this live demonstration, so that was the desktop part. So let me move on to the uh, web part. So using this web browser, uh, using a web browser and opening the IMDB web page as I have shown you to you in this test case scenario before. So I will add a new test case um, web part and I am DB. Select this test case for execution here. Now I add a new recording module to this web part. I will call it recording one. It's automatically opened here and I click here on record again. Same as, same as on the desktop application here. And now I do not want to run an application. I want to open a browser here. Select this option here typing in the URL here www.imdb.com and I'm also able to select here and browser or each of these browsers can be selected I want to record in Internet Explorer and to start the recording I click here on start and then Granrex automatically opens the Internet Explorer with IMDB and as before Ranrex is able to perform here an object recognition. So I have to search here in my search field for example click here in the red border is shown and that's very fine here. So um, I'm typing in here searching for a movie. I'm searching here for a very popular movie called Avatar, Avatar, click here on this search field, yes that's it, the movie I want, I have searched for is Avatar, the first movie, I click on this picture, yes that's it, now I want to validate that this is really Avatar I have selected, yes. And as before, Ranrex displays here a um, structure of the application. In this case, Ranrex displays the structure of the DOM, of the HTML DOM, of the web page here. And here you can see this is a span element. You can also double check that by highlight element. So select the avatar. That's it. Click on next. And now you see a real long list of different attributes which can be validated by Ranrex here. So I want that the inner text of the span element equals avatar. 
that's it. Click here on OK. And adding some further validations here. James Cameron. Yeah, that's it. The right element. Double check that. Yeah, fine. And here, I am able here to validate here this in the text. Yeah, finally, I close here IMDB and stop the recording so far. All right, let's take a closer look on the recorded actions here. So the first action is now not run an application, it's now open a browser with the URL here. So imdb.com, I'm using here IE Internet Explorer. Here also the other possibilities, you can select one of this other one. And you can also define here if it should be opened in maximized mode or not. So next action will be click on this search item. Then I will type in here avatar and here Ranrex has detected uh, left key, shift key down, uh, typing here is A and so on. So you can modify this key sequence too and replace that by avatar tar. directly. That's very fine here and yeah better to read. Mouse click on the search field and mouse click on the item here and here are the validation actions and the mouse click. Alright, that's here this recording so let me replay the recording so that you can see a recording which was created here but in a web application or in a web page can be simply replayed by Renorx2. So there is a further, um, yeah, everything was executed successful here with um, uh, Renorx. So let me close that here. There's a further question in the questions panel. Can I look up a value in a grid? For example, if I want to select avatar from a list without searching or clicking a link to the left of the cell containing avatar. Yes, that's, I have selected here the picture. You can also use here a text for selecting avatar here, the link text, for example. So that's possible too. And I have, yeah, done it. I have clicked on the picture at its point here. So I hope that is okay for you. So now we have here um, several different actions and um, if you think about browsers here, uh, I want to, here we have the validation action. Again, I want to have here a screenshot of the validation step here. So, as before, you can add here by simply drag and drop an element up from the action table into the, um, ah, from the repository into the action table, you can create here a screenshot and if you want to run this test uh, in different browsers, for example, you want to run it in Firefox, in Chrome, in uh, Internet Explorer without major changes, um, you have to modify your recording at one point here, so, or two point. So, points. So, the fourth point is you have to find here the browser in which you want to run the test. So can select here also Firefox. Let me stay here. If you want to run the same test um, in three browsers um, without major changes uh, in one test execution, I will show you that now. So therefore I create here a variable for the browsers for data-driven testing. Var browsers as default value I select here i.e. the Internet Explorer. So then all these actions are performed on the DOM of the uh, web page so that's no problem for any other um, browser so far but if you take a closer look on the last action here I have used here this X of the Internet Explorer to close the web browser and this is as you can see it here in the Renorex repository here is the definition for Internet Explorer and that if you open the same page in um, Chrome there is no 
button of an Internet Explorer and you can't close it through this X button. So therefore I remove this action here in my actions table and select here the root folder of the web application. Simple drag and drop it up to the actions table and select here close application to close the web browser. And that's it. I use a close window and then this test can be executed cross browser. Before I will execute that, I will split up my recording here into several um, recording modules that can be reused. So let me move that into a new recording module called close IMDB. Go back. This is the validation here. Validate movie as before, same behavior. Here I want to search movie and finally recording one is here. Can be renamed into start IMDB. Okay, and that's it. So now we have here reusable modules and I'm able to uh, reassemble this test case here as before. So search for the movie, validate the movie and finally close IMDB. So I've reassembled the test case here and now I want to run that data driven with three different browsers and therefore I add here an external data source to run the test here with the information which browser should be used and therefore I click here on this test case and select here data source. Now I'm able to select here any kind of data source, a simple data table, a CSV connector or an Excel connector, connect an Excel um, table or an SQL and database. So I'm using here for simply uh, demonstrating that a simple data table, I call it uh, browsers, I call this column here, browsers again, that here, for example, Chrome, Firefox, and, and IE, for example, to run this test here. Now, next to this test case here, a data binding is shown, so I'm, this test case using an external data source with three rows here and now I have to bind this external data column to my variable which is um, here to start IMDB. So therefore I select here again the test case and this item data binding. Now Renux shows this column, the browser column, which can be bound to my variable which I have to find in my start IMDB uh, browser module. That's it. I have bound this module variable to my browser column. That's it. And now I run this test case and let's see what happens here. So, Ranrex is executing the test here in Chrome. So different browser without many changes here. So avatar searching in Firefox here and finally also IMDB of Internet Explorer is used here. And everything was fine. So now we have three successful iterations of my test case here. Iteration one starting IMDB with Chrome. Yeah, everything was fine here. Validate the movie. Screenshot. And the same behavior here. Firefox. All right. Uh, that's fine. And uh, that was the second part here of my uh, live demonstration here. So 
that can be easily done uh, without major changes in your recording here. So, and now I will move on to the last part of this live demonstration and this is the cross technology test case. I will add here new test case called cross technology test case. Okay, and now I'm reusing modules. That means I will uh, you reuse the model modules which are currently um, available in my uh, Renrec Studio here, and I using here some further modules here. So I have here also a module group. If you want to, for example, um, combine several modules into a module group, for example, if you reuse three modules always together, you can combine then this modules into a module group. So this was done here, so I've selected here this uh, login to IMDB into one single module. So I've prepared here some, uh, for example, let me show it to you here, modules for example, click login, login or log out from IMDB and I have seen that before I have to do that. So that's the wrong web page here, so www.imdb.com, so that's my web page. So I'm logged in here as an Ranrox demo user and I want to reuse this module here. So for example, I moved it to this test case here and I will run this module here for this part because I have to log out from my database. So. I don't know if it was exe executed, I'm not sure, so it was not executed because I have not done that correctly the right way, so I have to do that manually, so I have to log out, I have done, not done that before. So, okay, now I will wait some seconds, okay, now we are in the initial state here. So now let me reassemble here real cross technology test case so the actions will be start keybass then I will start IMDB start IMDB then I log in into IMDB I'm using reusing this prepared module then I will close keybass I will search for the movie and I validate the movie here finally. I will use this prepared module to log out from IMDB here and finally I will close IMDB. That's it. Now I've resampled a new test case here with prepared modules. I have here start keybest, desktop application, web application, a module group, a close keybest, search for the movie, validate the movie, log out from IMDB and finally I close IMDB so I have reassembled here new test case with existing modules I have created before and let me run the test case here at this point so as before Renrex at first starts keybass logs in then it logs in into IMDB performs here it's login Okay, opens keybass, loads and password there. So now we are successfully logged in as Ranrex demo user. Okay, I'm so performing the same steps as before and finally I will log out from my database here. I'm waiting until we are already logged out here and finally I close my Internet Explorer and I've created here a new test case um, which was successful here with my existing modules. So I get here in warning because I have not bound my variable browser to several browsers here and then Renrex automatically uses the default value I have defined here for the Internet Explorer. And as before, validate the movie 
And here we see Renorx demo user we logged in to our database. Yes, this was this cross-technology test case reusing our existing models we have created before. And this was the last part of the live demonstration here. And now I have prepared some concluding slides for you um, uh, that shows uh, some summary to this actions I've performed here in this webinar or in this live demonstration. So, And now I'd like to show you this um, concluding slide. So we have used our object-based click-and-go recorder to record a test on here. .NET platform, .NET application KeyBase here, and also I have used here web application in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and yeah, without any major problems, it was very easy to do that and replay that, so very comfortable. We have also used different modules. We have uh, used here desktop modules, web modules, module groups, so different kinds of modules in one test case also. So one test case for both technologies uh, and module types. We have different technologies in one test case also um, used here desktop and web platform and also different browsers were used for one test case for example this IMDB search I've executed this test in Internet Explorer, Firefox and Chrome without major changes. And all that things with one single tool Ranrex Studio. So why is Ranrex the right tool for you? So if you have multiple environments, different devices and software applications, we support any technology with one tool. So you do not need to buy further uh, components. All this, all the technologies are supported with one single tool here. If you have frequent software releases, upgrades and changes, we provide a robust automation here. Um, as already mentioned, this Ranrex pass uh, identifies the objects in the application and uh, you can modify this Ranrex pass to create a very yeah, robust automation against changes in your UI structure. The Ranrex is able to uh, detect the object also if you change the UI changes. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe to our um, best practices using Ranrex Studio webinar, which is scheduled on next Thursday. So not this week, next week on Thursday. If you have multiple teams with different skills and responsibilities, we have a broad acceptance in the testing field because Ranrex um, supports the usage of this Ranrex recorder you have seen in this webinar, but there is also a possibility to write code. For example, if you have an engineer in your company um, who is interested in writing code to test your application, you can also do that. This is also shown in the best practices using Ranrex Studio webinar. If you have agile processes and comprehensive tool chains in your company, we provide a seamless integration into continuous integration systems and using build servers and test management systems, so that's very easy to manage with Ranrex. And if you are in a time and resource creep to manage software quality, we have a quick return of investment. You have seen that in this webinar here. It's very easy to record the test and replay it uh, with Ranorex. So we have worldwide customers, uh, more than 1,500 all over the world. Here's a world map with our customer, current customers here. So we have also customer uh, Ranorex partners available here in Central Europe, in France, in Sweden, Germany, United Kingdom, Netherlands and Hungary. So we have their training partners as well as service partners. Ranrex, we are headquartered here in Austria, in Graz. This is our European headquarter. We have also a North American headquarter which is located in Clearwater in Florida. So before I would uh, move our, over the remaining questions. I have prepared an outline, outline slide for you. So what 
you can expect from my side after this webinar here. So I will create a follow-up email including the download links to this uh, webinar session. So I created a video of the session here so that you can take a closer look on the actions I have performed in this webinar to redo that, have a closer look on that. If you have future questions, just reply to the to this follow-up email. Uh, send me an email and I uh, feel fine to assist you on your questions and support you on your issues if you have some of them. And here I have prepared some links for you. Here it is this other web other webinars link. So let me show that to you um, where you can receive this information here on our Ranorx webpage join a free webinar and here very recommended this best practices using your NX Studio webinar here. Here it is modifying a recording, change the object identification, Ranrex repository and this Ranrex path. If you're interested in data driven testing with external sources, more details about that in this webinar. Also for your engineers if they are interested in writing code using user code models, they get a short introduction to that uh, if they attend to this webinar. Then we have also some screencasts available on our web page. Therefore, click this link here. Then there is a well-used forum with different users um, from our uh, company and also from outside. And there is also a Rhinox blog section available with a lot of helpful information um, for your um, tests. So now I'm at the end of my webinar and let me go through your remaining questions. So um, there's one question which was asked very at, uh, at the very beginning. So Hella, I wanted to ask, ask Ranrox have some certain Certificated, so yeah, there will be a certification possible in the future. Um, that will came up uh, on our uh, web page in the next uh, day. So take a closer look on that if you want to perform here a certification. If that is the question you answered, he, uh, you have written here. So. Then a further question, can I perform tests on Ranorex on multiple operating systems without having to install them like you do it with internet uh, browsers? Uh, multiple operating system, um, uh, which operating system you mean? Uh, Ranorex is currently supporting the Windows platform. Um, you can't run Ranorex on a mm, Linux or a Mac. Book Pro, for example, so you can't um, use it on this platform. Uh, Rhinox is supporting Android and iOS on the mobile platform, if you're interested in that, uh, but on the web browsers we currently support only Windows. So you have to install Rhinox on your um, target machine to test your browsers. So I hope this answers your question uh, and here yeah, there's a further um, a uh, question here about a guy who I sent you the email um, to this email address here. Yes, thank you. So, there are any further questions available in uh, the questions panel. So, then I will say thank you for your attention. Um, thank you for visiting this uh, Ranrex webinar. I hope it was um, interesting for you. You uh, got the expected information you was uh, were interested in. So if you have any question please write me an email or and also follow me on Tuberimento in Twitter. So I wish you a nice day. So take care bye and guys and I wish you a nice day. Ciao.